Hi everyone, welcome back to Silicon Valley blog YouTube channel. My name is Hari. I'm your fellow developer. And in this series, we we, we are we are going to discussing. We are <laughs> we will be discussing about uh, linking and navigation. Okay. So as per the you know uh, this official documentation, we are having four four ways to navigate with you using link, using route routers using the directs and using history history api so all things i you know just curate, uh, created here these are the same things and uh, without wasting the time let's let's jump on the code and we'll see how this things are working so link component first we will see and let's see where we have given this so let me close all and i'll showcase you first so this is how our application is running here to localhost. See, uh, localhost three thousand. It is okay. And uh, where we have given our links. So this is for three. Uh, we'll see this in last. Same things I've created here. So let me. Let me uncomment this code base, and let's see. Uh, so what we are what what we have done here is uh, we have we have imported links, and that because this is the and not React this is the next years. So everything will come from the next dot link. Okay, next uh, uh, link it it will be it it will be there. So there are many things we can see here uh, if we are not giving slides, and let's see. If are giving so many things are there so let me let me take care here the link so we can take care like that and what this link will do it will it will tar, uh, it will you know route on this particular uh, link uh, where we are having this so link uh, uh, will will go and we'll see uh, we are having dashboard let's suppose uh, we are having a you know uh, the set or icons where we can say if you're clicking on this dashboard then we will be routing on on the home page uh, if, if you want to give any routes then you can give but here let's see so in this segment what will happen we are uh, we are here and what we have given here in the dashboard so where we are now we are in dashboard inside that uh, inside that dashboard so let me go first uh, first here in the route i want to go with the dashboard I want to go with the dashboard and uh, let's change that let's wait for some time okay i think we have to run this also uh, <laughs> server is not running so let's see if it is any error and all so it will be what's the error here hmm. So we are in dashboard dot pages. That's okay. And let me hit that. So and let me run the server once again. What's the error? It's showing. NPM run dev. If an error will come then it will show here it's working fine no harm in that and many ports opened so let me i want only one port so minus 3000 is working it's so working port right that's okay it's so working port What's happening? What's happening? Okay, let's wait. Why it is taking time? Ready, uh, starting, ready, and compiled. So I hope so. Let's see. We are in home page. 
and we we can go with the dashboard even. So let's see. What's happening? Compiled, compiled dashboard, compiled dashboard, fast refresh. Okay, we are in dashboard now. So now, uh, what what we uh, we can see here, we are in dashboard now. So we are here. Okay, and once I hit that. dashboard okay once uh, once i hit that dashboard once i hit that dashboard uh, this is coming from other and once i hit the dashboard so where I, where i'll go uh, where i will be going i'll be going here okay and what we are having here in this in that home page we are having the home page so let's see we are going or not so we are going right so this is this is the uh, function this this is this is the feature that we you know get from a link okay i hope so understood this and uh, from here you can uh, you can you know find more information about a link so link is a build of component that extend uh, with html anchor text that provide prefetch and client side navigation between routes all information you can find this from here even though you can explore many uh, other examples but I, I, I've taken only one so, uh, to make me everything simplifies. Now let's go and uh, let's see other, other one. Uh, first thing we have, we have, you know, uh, taken care. So let's make a tick mark for this. It's not a tick mark. Just go with a tick mark like that. Now we are having use routers. So what is the scenario here? So we are having settings inside the settings. We are having uh, use routers. So first, I will go with the here uh, dashboard and slash settings. I'll go here and I have a button here inside that. So setting to dashboard, we will go. And so what what we will do? Uh, we are having one buttons. If I'm clicking on this button, so we should redirect on where in the dashboard. So let's see. So what what I have done uh, in the client side is uh, I've imported here use routers from react slash navigation. Okay, I imported that. So here I'm using as a function because all other functions are already written somewhere else uh, in the backend. Uh, it's not visible now. We can directly use that. Okay, as a function we are using the function right or method we can say uh, we are using that. Now, if you see here, uh, routers, what options we are having after, uh, apart from this, so we can see all the options. So let me go here uh, with, with this uh, things. Uh, first, what is the you know URL? We are having dashboard dot settings. So let's wait for some time and let's see our terminal how it is behaving. It's working fine. It's working fine. And let's see. Now we are we are in uh, because this, this is this is the common uh, things that is coming from here. I will I'll showcase uh, and in some other videos. But let's see. We are in setting to dashboard button. We are having this button. Once I am hitting this button, but means I'm I'm going to press this button. So where we will be re redirecting? We will be redirecting with dashboard. So what path I have given here? I have given the path uh, where. Uh, slash dashboard app given so we should be redirecting on this page and let's see uh, what option we are having apart from this so i'll open the console i'll refresh this page again and let's see so it is re reloading again just 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 avoid this error and let's see our console anything is there in the console we are in error phase and we are not in messages but if we if we see here in the message message sections uh, let me let me take this separately so we can clearly see other uh, spectrums or you know uh, this formations okay so inside this routes we are having other feature also we are having back windows 3.back 
fast refresh we are having forward we are having prefetch we are having push refresh uh, replace these are the functions we are having apart from this and these are some properties from the objects we are having so let's you know uh, you can even do and uh, in you know uh, some tutorials and that i will be making i'll take care of all these functions so now we can see uh, so come to the main point so the main point is to re redirect us uh, on this particular uh, things or we can say route us route us will be a, a appropriate word here so let me let me hit this button settings settings to dashboard so if i go here then i am in the dashboard that's cool so we have covered uh, use routers even second thing now we are having uh, let me cover this history uh, once. We'll go with there in the re redirection, then redirect function once. Uh, first, I'll cover this. I'll cover this in point in three number number third number third. I'll I'll take this role number three <laughs> as a role number three. I'll take this and uh, let me let me do that. So, in some component, I have given th this link. So let me comment this and let me uncomment. This. That, that last one and now I will I will show you something very special it is from client side so we are using client side component so uh, for uh, as, a, as a, you can say symbolic representation we have given use clients so we can say we are using client side server side if you go then you have to use slide server side this stuff uh, so we hadn't touched server side but let's see in the future so we we have a page here and we are having two buttons so on uh, go function on click of this backward button what will happen we will we are having one function called history.back okay so where where wherever exactly we are uh, we will you know uh, take a path back and if we go forward then we can take path forward so let's see how it's work so we are uh, here so i want to go backward so then what 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 happen is ha huh, yes it's working now so let let's suppose i want to go uh, with the local host 3000 so i'll hit this button backward so uh, i'll i'll hit this button backward I'll let me go forward. I think it's a ulta. <laughs> what I've done? I don't know. Go back. Backward for back. So let's suppose we are here. So let me hit that. Yeah, it's going now. So let me hit that. It's going back. Let me hit that. Uh, it's going back. Uh, so less. And forward. Uh, I think uh, if there is a more URL segment that we can go so it is working fine so we have seen the, this option also so in uh, this history uh, sections you can see uh, other uh, feature here so we are having other feature to touch uh, as window history dot push state window history dot replace state uh, all things will happen so push state and replace state call uh, calls integrate into next year next year's routes allow you to sync up sync up with a huge path names and use search path name so some examples uh, they have given here so you can read and you can you know, check it out all the things here i hadn't touched that part uh, it's a little bit but you can even touch that same feature they have done if you want to update this uh, search, search functionality using you know synchronous, synchronous wise or, asyn uh, or means asynchronous wise or uh, you can say ascending order or descending de ascending order and uh, descending order then you can hit, hit that button if you want uh, with ascending order or if you want with descending order then you can hit that button so <coughs> this, this things you can you know check take care so this is the simple things how you know uh, it is pure javascript we have used here to showcase and even you can you know use this now let me go here and uh, take care with this uh, other other feature 
other that we are having with the you can say using redirect so redirect it, it is coming from next.navigation server side we can implement this logic so we, we we can use redirect and where we want to redirect it will redirect to this working example it is not the working example uh, but this is how the things work for this so thank you so much for watching this video uh, you can even check it out this example even uh, but this is a little bit about this navigation and all the stuff so thank you so much for uh, watching this video we will see you in next video somewhere else thank you so much